Hey everybody, welcome back to 100% Max. So I'm going to get straight down to the fact of this video. And of course, this is going to be a rant video. So if you don't like rant videos, please turn off now. Uh, you know, I'd fully understand. Uh, this is going to be a rant and me reaction to the comments said by Michael Lone uh, in his new book, little extracts out of his book. Uh, on what he thought about his career and also what he thought about uh, when he was in Newcastle United now as we all know you know Michael Owen obviously doesn't like uh, Newcastle there's always been a little bit of a uh, tension between us and uh, Owen and I've got to say you know uh, I don't like Owen neither uh, he came in Newcastle from Real Madrid absolute joke of a player uh, he came in 17 million at the time record signing uh graham soon as is signing at the time freddie shepherd uh in as the chairman and you know he was supposed to come in as the replacement for alan shearer uh to then push the club on forward you know alan shearer was still at the club at that time but he was ending uh his career coming to the end of uh his very illustrious career you know where he had some very good uh, seasons with Southampton, Blackburn, and then of course with ourselves Newcastle, uh, his hometown club. And then you look at Michael Owen. You know he started his career with Liverpool. Uh, of course, he started his career in the youth team at Everton before being uh, switched for Wayne Rooney, uh, which not a lot of people know about, of course. Uh, but you know, obviously, I do, and. Of course, Michael Owen went and joined Liverpool, worked his way through the ranks. Uh, then he got into the first team, had a very good career with Liverpool uh, before then moving on to Real Madrid. And, of course, that's where it went downhill. Liverpool obviously knew that he was very injury-prone, uh, knew that he was one of them players, you know, that just takes a little bit of a knock and he's out for months on end. Uh, then, of course, you know, he got his move to Real Madrid it happened at Real Madrid, it went downhill, Real Madrid wanted rid of him, and of course we give them the lifeline, he wanted the return to Liverpool of course, uh, which is only obvious, you know that's his uh, club at the end of the day, that's the club that brought him through, and Liverpool obviously at that time were moving in a different direction to what Michael Owen, uh, to what it was like when Michael Owen was there the first time, of course, Rafa Benitez was the manager at Liverpool at that point in time. They just won the Champions League uh, as well, uh, I believe. Uh, correct us if I'm wrong down in the comments below, but they just won the Champions League, I think, at that time. And they were moving on to try and compete at a higher level. Of course, Michael Owen wasn't in their plans for the higher level, and Newcastle gave them the option to move to us for £17 million, which was a record fee, like I say, at that time. Uh, then, to be honest, you know, he came in, he spent most of the time on the injury table during his entire nigh on of his career at Newcastle. He was raking in 120 grand a week, which is a lot of money. Very high earner at Newcastle, the record earner as well at Newcastle uh, at that point in time. And when you consider that Alan Shearer was there, you know, we had some great players in Damien Duff, Joey Barton as well uh, came in it a little bit further down the line you know all the great players that we had during that time and Michael Owen still to this day uh, is the record amount of 120k that a player has got on wages at Newcastle now he doesn't show any respect at all to Newcastle for offering him this lifeline you know he came in uh, he was with Wafar quite a while before moving off to Man United uh, the 08-09 season of course uh, we went down and he jumped ship he was the captain in that season he jumped ship went off to Man United on a free Newcastle went down to the championship of course and uh, then as we know the rest was history you know uh, with the way things has went with Newcastle United in recent times uh, but then for a guy like Michael Owen to come out, you know, and criticise somebody like Alan Shearer, who literally tried to keep Newcastle up in the Premier League. You know, he tried to keep his boyhood team in the league. And you've got a little runt twat like Michael Owen sitting there and downing him and saying, oh, you won 
you won one game, you drew two, and you lost five. It's not really godlike stats. Well, to be honest, you know, at the end of the day, if you had played a bit more like an actual player and put some emphasis into your game, had some respect for your fellow men, you know, and your fellow professionals of the game, then, you know, maybe Newcastle would have stayed in the Premier League. You know, I'm not saying we would have, but maybe we could have stayed in the Premier League if you had have actually tried instead of just, you know, trying to run off on a free to Man United. You know, you wanted to move to Liverpool, but then you go and move to Man United, Liverpool's arch rivals. Like, what are you even thinking? And then you come out when you get your move to Man United on a free. You come out and you literally say you only move to Man United to piss off the Liverpool fans. What kind of professional are you? What kind of person are you that you literally make a move just to piss off your fellow club, your fellow supporters? You know, that shows you how much of a low life you literally are that you want to make a move like that just to piss off a fan base. Not just New eh, not just Liverpool's fan base, but also pissing off Newcastle's fan base by then downing a guy like Alan Shearer, who is very respected in the sporting world of uh, football. He's very respected by Newcastle. Obviously a local lad. As most uh, have been in the past. You know, Bobby Robson was well respected. He got a big turnout when he uh, returned to Newcastle. Shearer got a big turnout when he returned to Newcastle and his record signing for £15 million. You've got the record signing of £17 million at the time and there was a big turnout you know Newcastle fans showed nothing but respect to you as a player you know we had a lot of hope in your potential as a player coming into our club yet you show no respect whatsoever you lack any sort of respect and professionalism you sit on BT Sport you sit and talk sport you go wherever anybody will pay you and listen to you for to just run your mouth off talking utter bullshit about Newcastle United, how you hated your career, how you hated being at Newcastle, how it was a step down from moving from Liverpool to Real Madrid to Newcastle. You know, if you didn't want to join with, then don't join with. Simple as. But don't bitch and moan about how your career didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Maybe it would have worked out the way you wanted it to if you weren't running away with 120k a week from a Newcastle contract, blasting it on gambling, blasting it on your horses, blasting it on whatever you could blast it on, you know, and it's an absolute joke that you literally sit there, you down people like Sam Allardyce, I'm not sticking up for Sam Allardyce by any means, you know, the guy did what he could do at Newcastle at the time, I wasn't really a fan of him, you know, Graham Sunez as well also did what he could do at the time and I wasn't a fan of him, you know, they didn't really go down well in Newcastle uh, with Newcastle fans and with uh, me in general as well, you know, being a Newcastle fan. Uh, but to be honest, you know, you've got to have some respect for your fellow professionals in your sport, you know, fellow journalists, fellow pundits. You know, you literally slate Alan Shearer for what he did in football. What he did as the interim boss of Newcastle. You know, at least he actually tried. You know, you've got to give it to Alan Shearer. You know, he retired from football. He went straight into being the interim boss at Newcastle. You know, and at least he actually tried to manage. He tried to keep his local team up. You know, what you ever tried? What do you ever actually try to do? You know, you sit there. You run your mouth on BT Sport. You talk a bunch of fucking bullshit. You state the absolute obvious. You get paid ridiculous money to do it. You know. And now you're trying to sell a book. That nobody is even going to want to buy. You know. It's a very very bad move. Uh, by yourself. It's a bad move by the PR team as well. Behind you. Uh, for the way this has been approached. You know. And I hope that. You get a big big sue. At the end of the day. Because you absolutely deserve it for the way you've spoke about Newcastle, you spoke about your previous clubs that you've been at, you know, you went to Stoke, you scored one goal for them in the time that you were there, you know, you moved on a free, that shows you how bad of a player you are, you know, your career was over way before Alan Shearer's career was ever over, you know, Shearer was still banging in goals 
uh, late into his 30s. You know, and that just shows you the difference in class between the two players. But you are just an utter disgrace to the sport as a person. You know, you just need to get your head examined and move on. Nobody cares what you say anymore. Nobody cares about you, Michael Owen. Nobody ever cared about you. You scored one goal for England and you lived off that moment forever and you're an absolute disgrace.